Piet Levy. I'm the music writer for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel on tapmilwaukee.com. I'm really, really thrilled to be here with the Avid Brothers, who are playing at the Marcus Amphitheater on opening night for Summerfest. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So we're, we have this segment called Ten for Tap, where we ask uh, folks ten questions. You guys mind participating with us? Let's do it. All right. So question one, uh, you guys are all very dapper, handsome men. But who do you think is the most dapper, handsome man, the most charming man in the group? Who would it be? Bob Crawford. So you guys are playing tonight at the Marcus Amphitheater with the Violent Femmes, um, who were recently reunited. This is one of the only shows that they've been doing since they've reunited. Is there another like dream band, like maybe a, a band that's dormant right now, who you would love to reunite, to see reunite, and you'd love to share a stage with? It's the Lemonheads. Yeah? Yeah, okay. R.E.M. Yeah. You guys have been through Milwaukee a lot. Uh, is there something about being in Milwaukee that stands out as like one specific memory from a show that really stands out to you guys? We had a legendary pow power outage, the past year. Yeah. yeah, we did two nights there. I lost power and we were, I mean, it was uh, a mess trying to get it going again. And we thought maybe we'd cancel the show, we're gonna have to go out there and play acoustic. Uh, but miraculously, they somehow figured out a way to make it work. The first time we, we came here, I, I don't remember what the name of the place was, but it was yeah. like a trolley. It was like yeah. there was a trolley there, a trolley out front, yeah. and uh, yeah. it was on our first tour. Well, this was one of the yeah. one of two places where the people enthusiastically booked us, and the gentleman I can't remember his name, but he took our CD Country Was to like the local radio station and had him play it, and he got us in the local newspaper. And this is all our first yeah. time ever in Milwaukee, so yeah. we. You know, immediately had a great uh, uh, kinship with Milwaukee. And, yeah. But my favorite time yeah. here was the Turner Ballroom. Yeah. That was just, yeah, that's, that's a great, great room, amazing room, amazing night. I'll, yeah. I'll always remember that. Uh, we went to Twitter and we asked some of your fans if they had any questions for you guys. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> One fan wanted to know, uh, between the, the brothers themselves, uh, who would win in a dance contest? I'm more of a power dancer, okay. although I do dabble in ballet a bit. Um, <laughs> it's a powerful approach that I take to ballet. Seth is much more of a finesse. You know, I'm thrilled and your fans are thrilled to hear that you guys, you had Carpenter last year, but you already have a new album that you think is going to come out this year. What can you tell us? Is there a name? Is there a style? What can you say? What can you give us? It's the second uh, chapter, second in, in installment of the Carpenter Sessions. I think it's a continuation in our uh, lack of interest in maintaining any genre um, organization really. Or. You guys are credited with uh, this kind of folk revival thing that's kind of going on. You're, you're credited with being one of the bands that really brought that to, to the forefront again. Uh, is there a style of music that you think is not so in right now that you'd love to see revived? There's not a style of music that's not in. That's, that's, that's total, that's Total BS. Okay. You know, no, I'm not saying you're yeah, BS, no, yeah. but the idea that it, because what I think we realized along the way is that whatever you bring, if you bring it uh, truthfully, like if you bring, if you believe it, and you're the fans, the audience, the people in that room, band and audience, walk away believing it. You guys uh, are known for being avid readers. Is there something you guys are reading right now or a book you really love right now? Uh, I'm only maybe 70 or 80 pages into a, a Pulitzer prize winning book called Middlesex. Okay. Hellhound on my trail um, okay. by Hampton Sides and it's it's about the Martin Luther King assassination okay. and the, uh, the the ensuing search for for the for the killer and uh, it is absolutely amazing. I realize that I have all these opinions about uh, about what uh, spirituality and Christianity are and I've never read the Bible so I'm trying to read the Bible okay. from the beginning to the end reading Gandhi autobiography just so I can argue with these guys <laughs> even more. You know, Bob, you mentioned you spent time in Memphis. Uh, you know, your, your daughter has been struggling with, with cancer and um, I just, uh, it's got to be so difficult to go through, but I, I find what you what you being so open about is very courageous and very brave and uh, admirable uh, and everything you're doing for, for St. Jude's as well to try to get research, money for research there. Um, is there any advice I guess you'd give for anyone having, going through this now with your family? Well, I found that being open about it has helped me be able to do my job because I'm the kind of person that kind of wear my emotions on my sleeve a little bit and, and um, if I felt like I was hiding something, I couldn't go out and, and play music and I feel the more open I am about it, uh, the more I feel like, okay, well, people know what I'm going through, 
uh, we can relate and connect in some way. And, uh, pediatric cancer is um, sorely underfunded. I feel like maybe God uh, wants me to uh, help raise awareness about this, and maybe that's why our family's been pushed in this direction. Uh, Hallie has great days, and she has terrible days, and uh, I just try to roll with that as best as best I can, and, and just enjoy uh, all her beautiful smiles and, and her sweetness. Sure. Courtney Love recently did an interview where she said that she listens to you guys, she loves you guys. She says it's what 48-year-old women do yeah. is they love Apparently you guys. All yeah, so <laughs> that's all they do. So what do you think about that quote? What do you think about Courtney Love saying that? Nothing but positivity. When we read that, that was a highlight, highlight of the day. We just found that out earlier today. So, so awesome. So you guys have done a lot of these pretty girl from songs from all these different places. When are we going to have a pretty girl from a Milwaukee song or a pretty girl from Wisconsin song? Come on. Laverne yeah. and Shirley was based here, right? Yeah. I mean, I worshipped that as a kid. So yeah? You gotta, there's, your, there's your inspiration right there. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you.